At Asset Tiger, we're constantly working on the platform to make it the most complete and user-friendly asset management tool available on the internet. And our most recent addition is the system for reservations, which I'm about to walk you through. Let's take a look at our list of assets. You can click list of assets on the top bar or click assets on the left and list of assets below that. I'm going to scroll down the list to the laptop computers. One is leased out, one has been disposed, one is checked out, and three are available. Now I'd like to use the laptop A035 next week and I want to make sure that no one else takes it. So I click on view. Here's all the information about the laptop. On this row of tabs, look for reserve and click. In this calendar, you can see if there are any reservations currently. There are not any in the coming weeks. Great, the laptop will be available. Click this plus sign to add reservation. Set the beginning date and the ending date, May 7th to May 14th. And the reservation has to be assigned to a person. Begin typing the name and then choose the name from the drop down list. This is handy. If you select send confirmation email and type in the user's email address, you can schedule up to two reminders to be sent in the days before the reservation. When you're done, click reserve. And now you'll see that the reservation is marked in the calendar. Now back up to the list of assets. Currently, there is no column for reservations, but this list of assets is fully customizable. So click here, set up columns, select reservation down here, click save setup. And if you're the administrator, you get to choose if this change is just for you or for all the users and click save. Now, when I scroll down to the laptops, I see the reservation. And once the reservation is set, no one else can reserve the asset during that same time window. I'm gonna try to reserve it during that window, just as an example. This part of the video is sped up. See, you get a note telling you that the asset is not available for you to reserve. You'll get a very similar note if you try to check out the asset while someone else has it reserved, or if you try to lease the asset. In all these cases, you'll get a note saying that the asset is not available because it's reserved, and that has to be dealt with, either with the person who reserved it or with the administrator of the list. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We have a team of experts ready to help.